Come on, give me a, give me a puzzle. Here we go. Let's do it, Anastasia. Arbitech sent us one of their recently published research papers. There appears to be an error in the bar chart. Can you find it? Yes. It's a pattern like those three. Uh, this one's too low. If it is a pattern, yes. Yes. Okay. Try to figure out the missing label of the third pie chart. So what's that, like 1725? 2025 20, probably ends with 30. None of those would get it to 30 though. Looks like it's like 700 something. Like one of those two is my guess. I don't think that's really what they wanted. I'm gonna try 820. <laughs> okay. If you look at the pie chart, it says clocks and labels the time, it starts to make sense. Oh, okay. <laughs> Many people believe and still do that complete knowledge of life could only be obtained by seeing it from the other side, because only then could you see it whole. Did anyone ever come back? I don't think coming back from the afterlife is something you'd brag about at parties. But who knows, perhaps one day someone will obtain such an understanding of life. If such a thing even were possible, it would be reserved for someone truly remarkable. So is is the evil kid, the black haired kid, past Baron or something? Which of these eight symbols requires the most strokes to draw? Keep in mind the stroke doesn't have to be a straight line. Because this one you could probably do all like together kind of thing, something like that. This one you could probably connect. My guess is this one. I don't know, it looks like they all have to be quite separate. But that looks like the obvious answer, and it's not usually the obvious answer. But sometimes it is. <laughs> Without retracing your lines, that symbol will take the most continuous strokes to draw. A single large piece of paper displays a set of four symbols. Choose one of the symbols on the smaller papers to be the fifth symbol in the set. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's got like five little stickies at the top. Same one again. Sometimes I'm good at these puzzles. But finals upon us, I have one important thing to share with you. A last round of motivation before the exam, perhaps? The majority of you will undoubtedly fail. That's it? Try to be in a select few for a change. Okay, well, I, I came into this, like, bottom of the, the entrance exam. And I just got a perfect class, so I think everybody's going to be okay, to be honest. Okay, this is what we snuck from the professor's office, or wherever it was. Well, it'll be Dom the usual. I'd like a cupcake and a cup. Say, where'd you get that picture of Professor Wilson and his boy? <sighs> what did you say? Let me take a closer look. That's his son. That's them, all right. Oh, it's not his son. <laughs> Wilson and his nephew, Ed. I'll go and get you that cup. Never mind that. Can you tell us more about Ed? I haven't seen him on campus this year, which is rather strange. With him and his uncle disappearing into thin air like that. Your friend. Or hey. <laughs> I like that. Or Orge. Your friend, Orge. <laughs> that makes more sense. Wow, all the answers were here all along. Can you imagine? <laughs> what? Where did he come from? Someone's been living here. Me. What are you doing here? We don't want any trouble with you. We're on the same side. We hope. On the same side of what exactly? We thought maybe you could shed some light on things. The objects are just that. Devices that should, after collecting enough energy, tear through the fabric of time. But why were they hidden? And why would someone abduct your uncle over them? There's a much larger ploy in the background here. The people who abducted him, they call themselves the alumni. <laughs> the alumni? So what do they want? Oh, they're, they're, just, they're just people who graduated. They used to go here and they graduated. That's why they're called alumni. It's a very common thing, Dom. <laughs> the alumni, how threatening. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> I mean, like, if, if they were going for, like, an Illuminati thing, they could have lent into it a bit more than just choosing a very common word, alumni. <laughs> That's not a threatening thing. The alumnati. That'd be kind of cool-ish. Whoever that is, don't let them get to the back room. I'll hide there. They are really banging on that door. Whoever it is. Oh, it's Octavia. Well, who do we have here? Gulp. Good day, miss. And a good day to you as well, Maya. Last time I checked, this area was awful limits to students. Whew. 
Is it really about to be Octavia, the teacher who's been mean as the villain? I don't think so. I feel like she's going to be like playing a sort of Snape role where she's just mean to them the whole time and then she helps them at the end. That's kind of what I'm getting from it, but she could end up just being like Quirrell. Oh, archaeology findings in Arbor. The last symbol on the tomb was scratched out. Which piece of paper displays a symbol that could be the last one? Um, it's got to go down, right? Yes, it's got to be that one. It goes like sort of up, across, down, up, up, across, down, you, you know, you get it. Hooray! Yeah, rotated by 45 degrees. Easy. Seems thieves broke into this tomb and replaced one of the vases with a fake one. It's obvious because the design is wrong. Can you see it? Mark the fake vase. Because the line splits and doesn't split on any of them. Okay! All the vases have the same design, they're just rotated differently. Oh, okay. Sure. But what have they actually found? Just, uh, just very generic artifacts. <laughs> they found some very well-preserved books that came from the Academy, because that is the Academy logo there. Interesting. Uh, I have to mow the grass, and I'm trying to find the optimal route, you know. You could help me. Pablo's giving you some measurements of this grassy area. Can you use them to figure out the length of its border? Oh, no. This is math. 80. Okay. That's what I like to hear. No questions asked. Bam. We're clear. <laughs> Once you realize that all the right borders are the same length as the left border, this is as simple as calculating the perimeter of a rectangle. Oh, okay. Pablo drives a motorized mower, much like the one in this photograph. It's large enough to cover and mow is seven feet square. What's the lowest number of times he has to make a turn to mow this whole area? I knew it all along. It was one. It was the trick, right? Ah, we got it! <laughs> Pablo starts from the center, he can make one continuous turn and keep mowing in an outward spiral until he mows everything. Did that work though? I mean, like, wouldn't you just like fall off about here? <laughs> you start here, you go like... All needs to use a special liquid of his plants. He says it's held in the biggest liquid container. Which one would it be? Is it the watering can? <laughs> How can they go from the previous one to this? <laughs> Oh, you found the right liquid. You should water this area of land that was preparing for planting. The watering can will water a 2x2 two two square area. Knowing this, what is the lowest number of squares you have to water multiple times until you finish watering the bare land? Oh, and then you do this. That's 2x2. Two two. Okay, so that's that's another one. So 2? Maybe you can do that better? There's no rule that says you can't water the grass. So if we do, like, so that's one water. No overlap. Oh, I see. So you do like that, and then like that, and then that. Okay. Excellent. Didn't know what in the world happened, but the arcades went dark. They have to be fixed so students can take their minds off finals for a moment or two. Want to help out? You bet. Back to back puzzles. Fourth high score isn't displaying properly. What number do you think it is? Uh, 724, 724, 724, uh, so it's, ends with 7, so it's that. We got it. Excellent work. Interesting how they follow a pattern. The sticker on the arcade machine has a smudge in one spot. Can you figure out what was written here? If you start from the key and go to the keyhole, it's N3E1. Oh, I see, North 3, East 1. Oh, very good, holy crap. <laughs> Excellent. What? <laughs> oh my god, let's turn it back into a dungeon. <laughs> okay, Kay's here. Wow, everybody's here. Tucker's here, interesting. My second visit to the library this year, and all the best of luck. Hey, Tucker. Says the warden, Stern Coster, was a dignitary of the academy. His office was located in the very same room as the professor's lounge. It mentions legends of a safe hidden behind his portrait, one that contained a master key for all the prison's mechanisms. Excellent. Aha. Well, we're allowed in here now. Something behind his portrait. The dial in this safe seems to be missing a number. 
You'll have to figure it out before you try to crack the coat. Which number should replace the question mark? Is it eight? <laughs> You've got all the other numbers. <laughs> the number they're holding up also adds up to eight. I mean, it seems silly, doesn't it? But... <laughs> that must be it. The sum of numbers on opposite sides is always nine, so our unknown number is actually eight. Okay, sure. Now you're ready to figure out the right code. Safe won't open itself, so get to it. Uh... I mean, it could be 152, which is there. Three something two? I think 152, because that, that seems kind of obvious. And these are probably red herrings. Okay. Because right in front of you are long hidden in the gestures of those kids. <laughs> Why is the mechanism locked away? What does it do? Now, Sam is not that bright, is he? I don't know how he's solved these puzzles. But, uh... Oh, it's not a beach ball at all. It's just another one of these things. Beautiful. Look into the bars. They were ghost bars all along. Whoa, watch out. Chimney door. Of course, the chimney shaft is loose. <sighs> Look at that symbol, reappearing everywhere in the papers. Looks like a star with four dots. Kinds of reminds me of a compass, too. And he left a note under this one. What does it say? The star will guide you to where, where the past and the present collide. Guide us how, exactly? Perhaps it's a hint about where we should go next, or go to last. Listen, we can try looking for it after tomorrow. First things first, ace the finals. I guess you're right. We'll still have some time to look for it after. Whatever it is that we're looking for. Hello, friends. The sit final is ready for him. Let's do it. Let's see how it goes. Can you imagine if it's just lore questions? That would be amazing. I would be so fucked. That's what you've been preparing for this whole two weeks. We're starting with the history exam so I can tell for a fact that you're all capable of marvelous results. How many seeds are produced by a single flower head of the pictured dandelion plant? Select a range. Oh my goodness. Do we just have to know about dandelions here? It's got to be the big numbers. <laughs> Shit. Huh, did we just actually have to have knowledge about dandelions for this one? Hooray! You didn't need to know this by heart. That cross-section view is all you needed to estimate the range. If, if you say so, this neighborhood is famous for its golden dandelion fields. One of the houses was built fairly recently, but which one? It's gonna be something to do with the roads. Oh, no gap in dandelions. Oh, this one, okay, yes. So it's like been planted on top of the dandelions, okay. A flag is showing the strong wind that carries dandelion seeds across the field. The houses act as an obstacle, so the house surrounded by dandelions wasn't there until recently. Okay. Oh, I see, like there's like kind of shadows where they wouldn't be carried. Sure. Fair enough, good top marks. That was the whole exam. Holy crap, that was it for history. Pencils down, I hope you got it all. That'd be it for the history exam. I'm confident you are all at your best. Feel free to take a short break in the atrium to freshen up. George has set up a stand with some snacks for you to get your energy up. Free chocolate, maybe? Need energy for the finals, what can I do for you? Food. We can have wine? Oh, okay. Oh, thanks, George. Very nice. Welcome to your symbols exam. Nowhere to run now. You studied all year long, might just make it. As for the rest, I'll see you next year. Get ready. Start. Triangles are carved into the statue at seemingly random spots. If you observe them carefully, you might notice there is some kind of order in this madness. Just one triangle is an exception. Which one is it? These triangles seem to be slightly elongated, so you can tell in which direction they're pointing. This should prove useful to you. Bottom right is pointing down. Yeah, it says this one as well. Try both the pointing down ones. Okay. Each triangle seems to be pointing towards another triangle. That one's the only exception. Oh. Okay. What kind of idiot would sculpt that? Strange symbols are etched into the statue, but the fourth got worn out with time. Which piece of paper shows the last symbol? Um, that one, because it's a four. <laughs> Hooray! That was the final. Jeez. Did very well on symbols, apparently.